wires going up into the weather head. Uh, the center one that is the neutral, it's a very small gauge, and so are the hot feeds. These are the originals, and I can tell by the size of those wires, those are not capable of 100 amps. Those are probably capable for about a 60 amp service, uh, which is very inadequate for today's dwellings. Today's home should have a minimum of 100 amps. So let's, uh, let's go down below and uh, show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we're in the basement now, and you'll see that there's uh, two breaker panels here, and I've already taken those cover panels off. And then up here to the upper left, this is the original fuse panel, it's a general. And uh, when you open it up, you'll notice that inside the panel, all panels are rated for a certain amount of amperage as far as the capacity. And on here, you're gonna notice it says 60 amps. And how these function is, um, let's go ahead and remove this cover and I can show you a little bit better. How these function are is, uh, this right here is your main breaker. And if you were to pull this out, inside is going to be two uh, fuses that are long and uh, cylinder looking that look like shotgun shells. And if I were to pull that right now, it would kill all the power. So we don't want to do that on the inspection. Uh, but you can see the, the two wires that feed this uh, main breaker, or main fuse I should say. And then this would feed off to all these individual fuses. It also has branch lines to feed over to this one. This is a 220 disconnect. So this, this is, allows another 30 amps to be fed off uh, to uh, electric dryer, electric uh, water heater, uh, stove, kitchen uh, appliances, that sort of thing. Uh, so you have another double pole with uh, fuse cylinders in here. And then it does have another auxiliary of branching off, which is the red one coming right down here off this lug, and then the black one over on the right hand side here, this larger one. And what's happening is, is somebody wanted more power to the house, so they took this branch line and fed it down to this sub panel. Now this sub panel has a double pole breaker, double pole breaker, double pole breaker, and you can see it's got 30, a 30, a 40, and then you have all the individual branch fuses plus this one and they jumped over to another sub panel so all these branch lines are not capable of the 60 amps this definitely needs to be upgraded there's other multiple issues uh, such as multiple lugging you shouldn't have two wires on the same branch line and most importantly is over controlled fuses which is too small of a wire on too large of a fuse this 30 amp can handle uh, what is a 10 gauge wire um, and the wire coming off from that is only 14 gauge wire, which can only handle a 15 amp fuse. So this could potentially overheat and melt the wires. So there's several multiple uh, issues here. Definitely recommend electrical upgrade. Uh, these fuse panels are disappearing, which is a good thing. And uh, now that we're here in the future and people are asking for electric vehicles to be hooked up, this definitely would take all of that electricity. So uh, thanks for watching the video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe.